LRDI, if you are looking at uh, the kind of sets that were asked in the last few years, especially if you are looking at CAT 2023. In CAT 2023, there was actually a lot of emphasis on quant based LRDI. For example, in CAT 2023 slot 1, there was one set in mean median mode, there were two sets in quant based LRDI, and there was one set in logical reasoning. All of them were moderate to difficult level. In slot 2, again, there was one LR on mean median mode. There was one arrangements kind of a set. There was a quant based puzzle and an LR puzzle. Even in the third one, there was a mean median mode kind of a thing. Again, it was an LR. Then it was a 2D LR. This was in slot 3. So basically, last year, most of the sets were quant based LRDI sets. So it makes sense for you to practice a lot of arrangements, practice a lot of Sudokus, try to solve as many quant based LRDIs as you can. You have a very good resource. You can uh, enroll to the Kraku study room or to the Kraku daily targets where you get a lot of these kind of questions. If you're looking at the percentiles that are needed to get 99.9, .9, you need to get 36 marks. 36 marks is basically getting 12 questions correct. 12 questions out of 20, that is getting two sets completely right and maybe two theta questions or some part of the third set correct, that is 99.9 .9 percentile. If you're looking for 99 percentile, that is 27 marks. 27 marks is basically getting two sets correct, slightly less than that. Even if you get one question wrong in that, that should be fine. If you're looking at 95 percentile, that is 18 marks. 18 marks is six questions correct, six out of 20. That is getting one set completely correct, itself will get you very close to 95 percentile. 80 percentile is 11.7, .7. that is exactly four questions correct. That itself will make you cross the 80 percentile mark. So if you get one set correct and maybe get one or two questions more correct, one set completely correct out of four sets and one or two theta questions correct, that itself will get you 90 to 95 percentile. So it is not very difficult to score 90 percentile in LRDI. The things that you should do to improve in LRDI is very simple. I always tell you that the best source of LRDI sets, good LRDI sets is previous year's papers. So look at uh, the Kraku website. You can download the CAT previous year's uh, PDFs go through them we will actually post the link for the previous year's papers download all the previous year's papers for example start with cat 2023 there are three slots slot one slot two slot three each slot has four sets download those pdfs and start answering them in the pdf itself we have given video solutions that is we have a link where if you click on it you will be redirected to the video solution page but before you watch the video solution i want you to try to solve the set on your own in lrdis the most important thing is first getting the di set correct unfortunately in cat 2023 there was no di set but in cat 2022 every slot in cat 2021 every slot in cat 2020 every slot in the last few years in every slot there was at least one di set a simple di set what does di mean di is data interpretation so you should know how to read a chart you should know how to read a pie chart you should know how to read a line chart how to read a bar graph. Basically, all of these graphs that are there, you should know how to read them. DA is very important because it is, uh, the accuracy is very simple. The accuracy can be very high in it. It is not a very complicated uh, kind of a set. If you spend time, you'll get it correct. So try to get the DA sets correct. The second thing I would tell you is try to solve as many LRDAs from previous years as possible and the Kraku daily targets. That I think will help you get a well-rounded uh, understanding of the kind of LRDA sets that are asked.